Hello everybody! Now let's review some vocabulary and also some grammar structure. First, it's important to remember our learning goal. Our learning goal is to describe objects inside the house using there is, there are, and some prepositions of place. So let's get started. Okay, vocabulary in the house. What's this? Kitchen. What's this? Living room. What's this? Bedroom. What's this? Bathroom. What's this? Garage. What's this? Garden. Now, I will mention some words that we can see in our houses, okay? So, for example, this part of our house is the floor, okay? Floor. This part of our house, this is wall. Also, when you enter to a place, you have a door or maybe to get some fair, fresh air, you have also a window. Remember, floor, wall, door and window. Now, we are going to focus on vocabulary, but about objects inside the house. For example, what objects that do you know there is, are there in this picture? For example, I can see a television. I can see some curtains, I can see a coffee table, I can see lamps, I can see pictures. What about you? What can you see? Okay, now we are going to see some vocabulary for you to know. Pay attention. Wow, here we have five objects. What is this? Bed. What about this? A sofa. Now let's go to this object. Desk. This one. Bath. And this base. Okay, five more objects. Let's start with this. What's this? Chair. What about this one? Wardrobe. Then we have a table. What about this? Fridge. And finally, armchair. Okay? Please remember that is different. A sofa and an armchair. Okay? Now, today we also need to know what's the meaning of some prepositions of place. So we are going to start with three today. 
next class we will continue with other prepositions of place but for today we have the word in on and next to so you have a box and a cat in this picture the cat is in the box dentro de okay in this picture the cat is on on okay on the box and finally in this the cat is next to okay next to the box now here is the complete vocabulary for today's class i divide this in parts of the house objects inside a house and also prepositions of place so here you have the translation in spanish so you can review and practice these words let's continue now i will focus in the words there is and there are this is the grammar part there is and there are there is and there are in spanish means i and we use there is and there are to talk about existence okay let's continue first i will show you the structure so we use there is with singular nouns with singular words and we use there are for plural nouns examples yes let's see some examples there is a book on the desk book singular is singular there is a book on the desk hay un libro sobre el escritorio next example there are books remember books plural there are there are books on the desk hay libros sobre el escritorio now i will show you a picture look here we have a dog a cat is it a sofa or an armchair what's this remember sofa or armchair this is an armchair okay also we have a book a ball a table and a fish bowl okay this is a fish bowl so let's see more examples number one there is a fish okay there is a a is also used for singulars for example these four sentences are singular that's why i have there is a there is a there is a and there is a number one there is a fish in the fish bowl hay un pez dentro de la pecera number two there is a book on the table hay un libro sobre la mesa Number three, there is a dog next to the armchair. Hay un perro al costado del sillón. Four, there is a cat on the armchair. Hay un gato sobre el sillón. Okay, so remember, there is and there are in Spanish means I so now you can find more examples around your house yes remember my my box do you remember my box and my doll i can say in this moment there is a doll on the box so now is your turn to create more sentences using there is and there are. Bye bye.
See you next class.